Hey, cows. These cows are five years old, 60 months. You have done good, though. But we're going to send you to that dairy farm in the sky. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to sell some product. It is September the 3rd. We got uh, all of our hay fields done and rolled and ready to go. Uh, so they're finished, and so let's pull up to here. We're going to sell three or four products in September. Let's take a look and see what those products are going to be. Uh, so we're going to do eggs in October. Uh, we're going to sell milk, but we need the tanker for that. So we'll come back to that later. Uh, cake. Yeah. So we're going to sell cake, butter, and cheese. Those three. And I think that's it. So cake, butter, cheese, and milk. Basically all of the dairy stuff and cake. All right. So let's come over here and get stuff started spawning um, we want to find cake over here and I'm just gonna set that to spawning we're gonna set everything to spawning so it just automatically comes out and I don't have to keep coming over here until it's all done all right so cake butter cheese I'll probably wait a moment for it to start showing up yeah there it is okay Hop in our pickup truck here and wait. Uh, so, yeah, we're up to $548,000. We need, let's see here. We need to get the big cow barn. We need $722,000 to pay cash for it um, and enough money to buy 80 cows on top of that. So, um, not sure if we're going to get that before the big sales in January, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, looks like it's finished there, so let's load everything. And let's take a look and see where we're going to sell this. So if we go to here, and we go to cake. 36 40 79 Looks like the grocery store is given the best price on cake. Okay, what about butter? Uh, this bakery here is given the best price on butter. So, yeah, we will. That's just the normal bakery. That's not mine because mine's OG's bakery. That's actually a really good price. Okay. So, it looks like we're loaded up with butter and cake as much as we can take on this trailer. So, we'll sell the cake at the grocery store first. And then we'll take a couple of trips over to the dairy for the butter wait a minute hold on a second or no, I'm sorry not the dairy the bakery yeah <laughs> I said that why are we taking butter to the dairy no we're taking it to the bakery okay I have such severe stuttering issues now whenever I haul pallets around. I don't know if it's mods or what it is, but yeah, it's just, if I get going over about 30 miles an hour or so, then it just starts to kick in. Okay, let's make some money off a of cake here. Ah, oh, crap, I'm selling the butter here too. Well, I should not have loaded those at the same time. It is what it is. Might as well just let it finish now. How big of a price difference is there between the bakery and the grocery mart? Nine sixty-seven. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, it's not it's not a huge amount of money, but obviously we want to sell for the best price. So I should have not spawned all those at the same time. But it is what it is. Can't do anything about it now. Okay, the bakery won't take cheese. So even if we get a little bit of cheese on this second load, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, that's probably all we have. Yep. 
Yeah, there's not enough cheese for another one. Okay, so let's set that back to storing. We'll set the butter back to storing. And the cake. Beautiful. Okay, who's going to buy the ch give us the best price on the cheese? 1993. So Red Marble's doing 1993. And the fast food restaurant's doing 1993. And in both cases, the price is dropping. Do they also, does fast food restaurant take butter? Yeah, okay, so we need to go to the bakery first and then stop by fast food restaurant. Okay, got a, made another $6,000 off of that butter. And the cheese all goes to Mama Joe's. She must have a toasted cheese sandwich special going on. $11,963. Okay. Very good. I'm going to put the trailer away, go get the tanker, fill it up with milk, and we'll sell the milk. 17,000 liters and change. Not bad. And let's see who's going to give us the best price for milk. 762, 781. Mama Joe's Farmer's Market is giving the best price on milk. All right, let's go. Go deliver. Um, we should have plenty of milk in our dairy to keep that going. Let's just double check that, actually. Okay, dairy. Yeah, we got 18,000 liters in the dairy and uh, plenty of milk in the bakery, too. So we should be able to just sell all this and be fine. 13,625 dollar Mickey Hala. Fantastic. Okay, so that wraps up September. And we are now going to move into October. We're going to have two big tasks in October. Um, we're going to cut the hay on 57 and 68 and then flip those fields back over to arable crop and we're going to plant wheat this year and um, we're also going to sell eggs next month as long as the price you know uh, doesn't change it's you know October is usually the best well October or November tend to be the two months where the eggs are the best price and um, we'll make a little more money off of those too and then see where we are it is October the 1st. Let's first of all take a look at September's finances. Um, so we spent $85,000 in vehicle leasing costs. That's because we rented the two big M's with the hitches on the back. And let's see, spent about $7,700 in vehicle repairs. Prop remains $2,700. Production costs $3,167. We made $13,000 off of milk. We made a total of $153,404 off of um, sold products. That includes all the stuff we just sold and also the greenhouse uh, money that comes in. Bit 620 on water. We made $71,000 on the biogas plant. That's actually really good. Um, that's the highest I think I've seen that. Uh, we added slurry to it too, in addition to the silage. And let's say we paid workers ninety three hundred bucks, nine hundred seventy dollars miscellaneous, and paid fifty six hundred thirty six dollars in uh, product distribution to our workers. All right, so we are sitting at six hundred sixty three thousand seven hundred and forty three dollars. We almost have enough cash to to buy the big cow barn, uh, but again, remember we also need money to buy the cows in addition. Uh, to do that i'm i'm, I'm going to sell our current cows because they're actually quite old <laughs> but because we only use them for dairy cows and not you know not beef cows their age doesn't really matter as far as i'm uh, as far as i know uh, i've never noticed them their milk production be reduced due to their age but nevertheless we'll sell them anyways and we'll just get fresh cows as, when we upgrade the barn okay let's make sure that the prices have not fluctuated in this is still the best month to sell eggs. 
It is not. Now it's switched over to November. Okay. So last month it was saying October was the best month. So I guess we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll check it on October 2nd and October 3rd too. Um, but I'm not going to sell the eggs today now because obviously the price is going to be better in November. 1363 is the high there. Yeah. See, these are all quite a bit lower than that. So we're going to wait because, you know, we make a pretty decent chunk of change on our eggs. We usually make about 70 grand or so each year that we sell the eggs. So it's definitely worth waiting for. All right, let's see here. I want to look at the cows for a second. I, I'm not I'm not filling them all the way up because we're going to be getting rid of this barn pretty soon. So I'm just keeping an eye on them to make sure they don't completely run out of food. At some point, we're going to need to throw the chickens some more grain, but that's not a problem. We got plenty of grain, and it looks like the sheep are fine on hay. Uh, our greenhouses are starting to get low-ish on water, so next month or so I'll have to deal with that. We're fine in the bakery. We still have 17,000 liters and change for milk in the dairy, so we're good to go there. Plenty of barley still to process into flour. Uh, we filled the sugar beet thing not too long ago, and yeah, I think we're in very good shape right now. We have almost a full load of grass from our third hay cutting and almost a full thing of silage, which of course is being distributed to, to the biogas plant at this point. But we are, I, I do expect to have a decent amount of extra silage for selling in January when that time comes. Very good. So we are sitting pretty good, folks. Sitting pretty good. I don't think I have any bank loans, do I? No bank loans. Okay. Uh, oh, let's look at the sales. What is this? This is a windrower. That's an interesting looking windrower. And there's the IT runner. Man, this thing is so useful. In I'm using it in the logging series and the Silver Run 4 series. I don't know why necessarily why I would want to use it here in the farming series only because we already have, you know, all of the, a bunch of tippers and stuff that we've just purchased. Um, yeah, I don't really think we need that. And if I did decide to get this, I'd get the larger one anyways, cause this is the smaller one, but nevertheless, really, really useful, um, implement to have that. Okay. So, the name of the game here, folks, is to harvest the hay in 57 and 68. Um, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to lease the big M with the hitch. I think I'm just going to use my own big M just because that's really expensive to do. I think it's worth it when we cut all of our hay together, but... Uh, since we're only doing two of the fields, I think we're just going to use our own big M to do that and pick it up, uh, you know, just w w with the tractors rather than putting the forage wagon on the back of, of the big M. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit longer to do it that way, but it's going to be way, way less expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the hay on 57 and 68 get that all in, put into the silo, silo. And then when that happens, when that's finished, then we're going to flip these fields. We're going to plow them under with our cedar cultivator direct drill and plant wheat in both of those fields. Okay. So I'm um, just trying to decide how much of that I want to show on camera because we kind of just finished showing hay and <laughs> planting, planting those fields for grass. You know what? I'll tell you what. This time around, anyways, I'm just going to do all that off camera, okay? Because I'm just, I'm afraid I'm showing you guys the same thing over and over again. And I'm trying to, you know, keep things, uh, keep things moving and keep things interesting and not do too much of the same thing over and over. So this time around, anyways, I'm going to, I'm just going to handle all of that off camera. And then when those fields are planted and everything is good to go, I'll bring you guys back and we might even move into November um, before we're finished with this episode. We'll just kind of keep things moving because I'm excited, you know, to get to where we can get the big cow barn and that's going to be our next purchase. And we'll definitely, you know, be showing all of that on camera. Okay. So I'll see you guys back at some point in the near future. All right, guys, welcome back. It is uh, November the 1st. And uh, so I got all my fields taken care of 57 and 68. They are now replanted with wheat. They've been rolled, they've been sprayed with herbicide, they've been fertilized, and they are in a great shape. So, um, let's see here. Why is that um, still got the course plate outline on? That's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, 
if we go to here, you can see that they're they're both fertilized. And uh, if we go to here, we should see that they're planted with wheat. So 68 and 57. So we're good to go there. Uh, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sell our eggs because the price is still are really good here in November. Uh, I also... I also um, refilled all my greenhouses, um, so they're chocked full with water, manure, and seeds. So that got done. What else did I do? I topped the chickens off, so they're in good shape. So yeah, we are doing pretty good here. So let's get our eggs unloaded and sold. And depending upon how much money we make, we might actually do... The large cow barn next, um, because one you know one thing is I'll, I'll be able to sell the existing barn and we'll get some money back from that and that should cover the cost of buying the new cows. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm looking for this. No, looking for this. Okay, so let's see eggs. Yeah, so eggs is selling in November fourteen oh two is the price. But fast food is actually giving fourteen thirty nine, uh, but the price is dropping, so we need to get those eggs over there uh, right away. So let's get on that. That's a good price. Okay, and we're gonna select eggs. There's there's probably gonna be a a little bit over by the chickens too. Uh, let's just set that to spawning. While we're waiting for that, um, we also, uh, I put a couple of loads in silage factory one just to top it off. So I don't, we probably put, I'm going to say about 150,000 liters in, uh, in here and then silage factory two, we put almost a million liters in here. So 854 and the, and They've already, it's already been converted to silage because that was actually several in-game days ago uh, when I finished the hay. Look at all those eggs, man. Isn't that awesome? Okay, let's run over to the chicken coop and grab whatever else is left over there. There should be probably a pound and a half each, maybe, at each coop. Then we'll go sell this and make some bank. Oh, we have two and a half at each one. Okay, that's even better. Fifty-five thousand seven hundred and twenty liters of eggs. All right. Let's go sell those to Mama Joe's fast food. Eighty thousand two hundred twenty-nine dollars. Wow. That is really, really good. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I've even made that much money off of eggs yet. It's usually around 70 grand, but wow, that's really good. Okay. So we are definitely in a position now to get the large cow barn. And I don't think we'll have to do a whole heck of a lot in the way of um, landscaping and stuff. But I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's take the flatbed over there just in case. Because we are going to have to stock it with straw and, and hay and silage. Once we get it in place. Because we are, again, going to use the auto, auto feed version. Okay, so let's head over. I will park the pickup right here for now. And we're going to need to get the tractor out of here we won't even need this mixer wagon anymore oh yeah we got to get the we got to get the tanker out of the way too there's going to be a little bit of milk in here so we might as well pull that out too and we'll just go dump it off at the dairy yep, 2200 liters
Okay, let's see how much slurry is in here. We should probably offload whatever we have there. Yeah, we have 26,000 liters of slurry. Might as well get that out and we can take that down to the biogas plant to uh, convert into money. Wow, we have more than a full tank in there. All right, I'm gonna run this down to the biogas plant. Let's go into here and activate slurry. Okay, I'm just going to leave the rest of that in the tank for now. Okay, next thing we need to do, and I, I completely forgot about this, is we got to get those wood chips out of the way. Uh, I'm trying to remember how many wood chips there are there. I think. There's probably over 100,000 liters. When are we going to sell these? I think we're selling them in December. Let's take a look-see here. Wood chips. Mm, well, December or January. I really don't want to move these twice, though. I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Let's, let's just start loading up our trailers. I honestly don't remember how, how many liters is there. <laughs> I, I, I kind of had a bit of a clue back way, way back when we did that, but that was a while ago now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get the telehandler in the bucket. And we're going to bring the cramp trailer over here. Let's go grab that first. Right here. And we'll load this up first, and then we'll, you know, we've got the the Stroutman trailers that are all both uh, close to sixty thousand, two. And hopefully, I can, you know, get all of those chips into all of my tippers, and then, you know, they can just sit in the tippers until we sell them. So that's five thousand liters. Looks like we're full. Okay. So we'll put that down on the ground. And that's 59,400 liters. Looks like maybe we got half of it if I remember right I think we had I think I estimated we had over a hundred thousand liters in the pile and now looking at this I would say that uh, appears to be the case uh, I'm gonna load the rest of these up off camera and then uh, once I get all the wood chips out of the way I'll bring you guys back and we will buy ourselves the large auto feeding cow barn. I'm excited. See you in a bit. The rest of the uh, wood chips out of there. So we should be ready to get the cattle barn, the new cattle barn. Well, we got to sell the old cows first. So let's do that next. And then we'll sell the building. Hey, cows. These cows are five years old, 60 months. You have done good, though. But we're going to send you to that dairy farm in the sky. 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. Where do we do this? At? I think we have to do it on this other side. Yep. Yeah, we've had this this barn for five in-game years. Uh, okay. So we want to go to here, and we want to go to here, and we want to go to here. Space sell. We get twenty-two thousand dollars for selling the Holsteins and select and eighteen thousand for selling the brown swiss and that should be it i think that's takes care of all the cows we still have a little bit of straw left in here but that's all right fantastic all right let's head on get on over here and get our selves out of the way and we want to here i'm going to do a save now too We'll go into the build menu and we'll select this building. We will get $103,000 for back for this. There we go. Okay. Now, um, this footprint here should be just right for the, for the new barn. Um, because we kind of figured that out. A long time ago, but this is the one we're going to get. It's seven hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars, and it's the self-feeding um, barn. Okay, so what we want to do is, I think we want to turn it this way, and just want to make sure that the fence is not going over the edge there. That doesn't leave us a lot of room, though, to get into the feeding part, does it? All right. Let's see here. So what we have to do is we have to fill these bays here with hay, straw, and silage. And I uh, just want to make sure we can, you know, we have enough room to get in there. I don't really want to extend this, though, any further th this way because, you know, we need room for the trucks and tractors to get into the silage for loading and unloading. Okay, let's try that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll... I think we have plenty of room to get everything in here we need to get in here. Especially if we bring the flatbed and then we just use the auto load there. Now, we do need to fix the road here a little bit, so let's do that next. That's not too bad. I think that takes care of the landscaping. Look at this enormous building we have now. So this is the big boy barn. It's got three milking machines instead of one. Cool.
There's the milk tank back here. That door doesn't open. Does this door open? Doesn't appear to. All right, now, next step here is we need to get um, the feed, and we're going to have to use mineral feed now, too, because this barn doesn't function without it. And this is the robotic feeder in here. So we'll see that in action once we start filling things up. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is we got to fill this bay with silage. We got to fill this bay with straw and this bay with hay. So what I'm going to do is jump in back in the pickup truck and get the flatbed trailer reconnected. And we, we can't even just take our, our tanker back and put it back in its normal position here. A little, little bumpy going through there, but that's all right. Okay, so let's load up some hay first. I don't know how many bales it's going to take to fill that place. So we'll just load the trailer uh, as high as it'll go and see uh, how much it gives us. Okay, so we get 12 bales with one uh, load here. So we pull up next to the hay bay. And do that. Let it fill up. Okay, now let's reload these guys. Is that like completely full? We could actually just leave those there. I don't think it'll interfere with the robot. All right. Yeah, let's do that. And it'll slowly consume those other bales, you know, when the loose stuff wears out. Okay, let's do the same thing with straw. we try it here all right yeah we're just gonna have to do this then good okay so <clears throat> 49,000 liters for of hay and straw is what goes in both of these bays now, I think we put maybe double that amount of silage in here. So we're going to need to get a tipper for that. It's okay if we take all of it, because that's exactly what this silage is for. It's for feeding the cows. It'll be nice to not have to do any more TMR mixes with the mixer wagon, though. We did that several times <laughs> lots of times over the last five years I think I can just pull up right alongside here yep start silage overload let's do a, a save here real quick though there it goes it's starting to fill up Oh my goodness. That's 40,000 liters right there. Okay. Well, it's definitely going to take another full trailer load of one of these and then maybe then some, but that's okay. We got it. Okay. Tip the next load. 
and we'll keep filling it until it's completely full. Okay, that empties that silo out. Let's dump this and then we'll see where we're at. And if we still if it'll still take more, I'll go pull some out of the big silos. Oh wow, this <laughs> this fills up a lot faster than the other one did. Okay, there we go. So it didn't take all of it. We still have 30% left. So it's 115,000 liters of silo to 49,000 of hay and straw. So it's more than a 2 to 1, but it's not a lot more than a 2 to 1. Cool. Okay, now the next thing we got to do is we have to get mineral feed dumped over to here. So, let's see. I think the way I'm going to handle that is container. This one. It's going to cost us 36000 Let's just fill the, the dang thing up. Then it's full. I guess let's advance to noon and see if it kicks in now. Yep, there it goes. Okay. There it goes. All right, cool. So the robot goes down, takes a scoop of silage, puts it in the little feeder thingy here. And it goes and gets a scoop of straw. That is so cool, man. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then it's going to come down and get some hay. And it also takes a little bit of uh, mineral feed out of the container. Here it comes. Yeah, that silo, silo was in the way. Well, the, I, I, it was either that or, and or the, the hay bales. Oh, am I in the way? Yeah. I guess I'm too close to it. So it'll be interesting to see how long we can go before we have to refill all the bays there. Because, you know, I was having to do a, a feed mixture mm, probably every other month or so, give or take. How'd that already get in there? Oh, did it already dump it? No, it hasn't dumped it. It should turn around and start dumping it and coming back this way. Am I too close again? Yeah, it doesn't like you to get close to it, man. It needs its personal space. <laughs> there it goes. Look at that. That is way cool. Okay, I'm moving. I'm moving. Eventually, I think it'll get the whole the whole thing completely 
you know, filled up visibly, but it, it takes it, it takes it a few passes to do all that. And the cows are consuming some of it in the meanwhile too. All right, nifty man. Okay, so the last thing I got to do is I just have to get straw in there so uh, we can get manure going. And yeah, I'll have to figure out. Maybe what we should do is just put the container over by the slurry tank. That's probably going to make the most sense. Let's just do that now so I can dump this this back off. Okay, that is what we're going to do with that. And I'm guessing we want to do it in these doors. It doesn't actually really matter which door you do it in. But it's kind of fun to be somewhat realistic about this. There we go. Give that that cow a straw shower. That's our new cattle barn, ladies and gentlemen. It's an expensive sucker. So after all of that, we are down to thirty-five thousand two hundred ninety-seven dollars. But the good news is that we did all of this without going into any debt. We didn't have to do any bank loans, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna have to do a little more smoothing around there, I think. It's a little bit uneven and whatever, but you know what? That's fine. It's, a, it's all right. It's all right. We can deal with it. Oh, that was a partial bail. Okay, so how much, how full did that make the, the barn? Okay, so yeah, that got us about a third of the way there with just a little over two bales. So yeah, that's that's pretty close to what I estimated, about five straw bills to get it done. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I'm going to uh, do my fourth hay cutting. I'm just going to do that off camera again. Um, and then I will bring you back in December where we'll have some things to sell. And then we'll probably go right on in January and do all of our January sales as well. Um, and we're going to have all these wood chips too to sell too. So we'll have a pretty good um you know january i think well we should i'm expecting to make several hundred thousand dollars but i don't i don't think we'll get up to a million but uh we should do pretty good and uh, with that i'm gonna let you go here so thanks very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye